Zane and Gigi are back together? Justin drops his best music video yet for company. And Selena FaceTimes a fan during her Revival Tour concert. All that and more on today's Rundown. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. You're hanging out with Hey Aaron Robinson oh, on hi. Instagram. Oh, hi. And Danielle Robay on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> and we have so much to talk about, like updates on Kylie's lip kit. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about that later. But for yeah. first, let's talk about some celebrity hairstyles. Let's do that. Okay, before we talk about these celebrities' hair, we have to talk about Aaron's hair. I'm thinking about getting bangs. Should she do it? Let's see what it would look like. I'm trying to decide. I feel like it's not. It just doesn't. I think it's kind of cool. This looks like the wispy version. <laughs> I'm not doing it right. Yeah, actually this kind of looks like Selena Gomez's recent Instagram photo. She yes. just, actually her hairstylist just posted this photo of her hairstyle. She's trying to rock these like wispy bangs, but I think she's nailing it. It looks really natural. I know she's done fake bangs in the past for mm -hmm. her music videos, or even just on Instagram to have fun and play around, but these kind of look real to me. I like these ones better. They're not as blunt. I like that they're like all over the place. Those are the ones I think you should get if you get them. Guys, should I do this? I'm really nervous about it, but I want to do something okay. different. Like, I think it's time. It's time. It's time. Thanks, okay. Selena Gomez, for inspiring me today. Another Selena Gomez news, you guys know, she's on tour right now. Last night, she was performing in Washington, D.C., and she was doing her thing on stage, and then she noticed that someone in the audience had a FaceTime call up, and their mm -hmm. friend was being FaceTimed into the concert, and she walked straight over to the van, grabs the phone, and this happens. Now, I don't want to leave any new celebrity hairdo out, you guys, because Ariana Grande also posted an update on oh. Snapchat of her new hair. It's kind of like balayage ombre. It's really light at the ends. Um, she's also been feeling sick lately, but it seems like she's on the mend right now. But she looks great. I really think this looks great for the summer. Everybody's ready to kick summer off with some new hairstyles. And I can't do the balayage, so I'm definitely gonna think I'm gonna do the bangs. That's not true. You could do the balayage. It would just be like light, like bl like strawberry blonde at the bottom. I think right? Lily nails that the best. I'm she does leave nail that to her. her. All right, with the purple. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have to talk about some breakups and some makeup. Let's do that. Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik were broken up, but now they're back together. What? How? They were just broken up and back together and broken up again. The million dollar question, Aaron. So here is what the inside sources had to All say. Right. According to a quote pal that spoke to Us Weekly, quote, they broke up and got back together almost right away. Right now it's back on, but it could be off again in an hour. And then a second source said that they go back and forth and that their personalities clash, saying, quote, he wants to stay home and hang out, but she loves the limelight, she loves attention, and he hates it. An introvert and an extrovert, we all saw it coming. I guess the pillow talk continues for now. Um, but it was weird because on June 2nd, all the reports said they broke up, and then June 4th, she was wearing her um, Z necklace and also on Snapchat lip singing one of his songs. And talking about her boyfriend. Yeah, so what do you think? I think they're just way too hot and they can't <laughs> stop each other. Do you know what I'm saying? Can't like, keep your hands to yourself. Exactly. Hello, Selena Gomez. But I think that when you have two really attractive people who are super attracted to each other, I don't know if they like really love each other, but gosh. They just make such sweet love together. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if they're making love, but together they look gorgeous and they're so attracted to each other, so I think that's the problem. They're young. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not gonna last. This is gonna be over soon, but I do like them together, at least for now. And I'm happy that Gigi and Taylor didn't break up with their boyfriends at the same time. It just uh, is like too much drama, and I don't know if they need to be I, commiserating together. I wanted them to be single and ready to mingle all summer together because I would live vicariously through them. I'm married, so I can't be like single and flaunting myself out there on Instagram. So okay. that's what I wanted, but dreams don't always come true, guys. <laughs> Doesn't always happen for you. Some relationships don't last forever, but one thing that does last forever is Kylie Jenner's <laughs> lip kit stains on your lips. Seriously, guys, it's so hard to get that stuff off. It lasts for days. I look like I've been sucking on something weird for like three or four days after I wear it. First world <laughs> problems, 2016 problems. But speaking of Kylie Jenner and her lip kits, you guys, she's actually showing us a Makeup Free Monday post, which is something that she rarely does mm. on Instagram. Occasionally she does it on Snapchat, which we totally appreciate. But seeing it on Instagram kind of collaged into a multitude of very 
snatched photos of Kylie Jenner's face was kind of refreshing. She posted this with the caption, hello. But that makeup free Monday thing didn't last too long because she then posted a ton of other photos of her wearing her new lip kit stain. The black one looks amazing, guys, and it is coming out very soon. But Kylie actually took to Instagram to announce that she's coming out with another color before the black one arrives. She said, quote, dead of night, this shade is for you guys. When I asked what lip kit you'd like to see next for Kylie Cosmetics, the majority of you surprisingly said black. So before I release Kai Majesty, my black lip kit is coming this Friday. So be prepared that you aren't gonna be able to use your internet for probably like 10 hours on Friday because they always break the freaking internet. I can never get the lip kits. I'm very bitter about it. Well, you can get it on eBay for like $3 million. Right, because I have a lot of that in my bank account. Said no one ever, guys. Speaking of Kylie and Kendall, though, they have recently mo modeled for a Top Shop photo shoot. They have, you know, their line that's out mm -hmm. in Top Shop, and they look beautiful and like supermodels, unsurprisingly. But um, they did this little Q and A, like kind of sisters revealing truths about each other, and it was kind of cute. Kendall. Me. Kylie. I've never fallen off a jet ski. I have, but that's because I go too hard. Oh, you. Kylie. Kendall. Kylie. Kendall, I'm Shut not going to fight with you right now. Kylie. I'm not going to fight with you right now. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard you say. All right, Erin, are you ready for some music news? Girl, is it a day that ends with a Y? Yes. <laughs> OK, so I rarely get super excited. I was so excited after seeing this Justin Bieber music oh, yes. video. Uh -huh. It is really good. His fourth single company now has a music video and it's a documentary style video. It was made basically just a bunch of clips about his life over the past year or so, I would say. He has footage from tour stops, clips of him at the skate park, behind the scenes of his Calvin Klein shoot, in the recording studio, and everyday life with family and friends. I honestly really enjoyed this video. I, I kept too. watching it. Um, I'm impressed by him. I mean, he doesn't want, he canceled his meet and greets, he doesn't want to take pictures, but I think that he still wants to connect with his fans and show them his private life, but just through his music. Yeah, and also his private life and show them that he's a good guy. He's yeah. hugging his friends in this music video. He's smiling, he's having a good time. Also, I saw him in the tree. I don't know if you saw the tree <laughs> moment. Um, I really like this music video too. I think this might be my favorite music video off of his Purpose album. Me too. Because it's so real and honest and the cinematography is oh, it's surprisingly shot. really good. Like it's not yes. like black and white grainy behind the scenes, which I can't appreciate sometimes, but this looks like a film, like art. It was shot so beautifully, could not agree more. Yeah. Um, and Justin agrees. He said, it's an honest look at my journey. The process of putting together this album and this tour, surrounded by people I love to be with, has been really special. I'm proud of it. Okay, guys, Justin Bieber's music video. Is it your favorite so far? What did you love about it? What did you hate about it? I loved his hairography. Did you notice there was a lot of hair shots in there? I didn't hate one thing. I loved it the so much. Thing. I hope you did too. Yeah. And Aaron, I'm sorry to say, I have a more important question for them. Should Aaron get bangs? Yes or no? <laughs> Let us know. I'm gonna start like a Twitter fire. Okay, you I started to a Twitter fire last week yes, about you did. Danielle and Drake. You guys totally it's my favorited turn it. To get her it back. had over like 2,000 retweets and favorites. Yes. I'm hoping Drake sees it, so keep that going. Well, we're gonna beat that, guys. We're right? Let's that. show Aaron that we're gonna beat that. We're gonna get everybody to chime in on the bangs. Let us know. What should I do, guys? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with us and our weirdness here every single day. And we'll be back here tomorrow. Taylor Swift's Twitter gets hacked, you guys, and we have the details in that box on the left. And on the right, watch Selena's Kill Him With Kindness music video. You don't wanna miss it.